What's up guys, Brain here with Super ATV and today we're gonna to be installing our flip up seat kit on this Kawasaki KRX 1000. After you've installed this flip up seat kit, you're gonna be able to gain access to that valuable storage space that much easier. So let's get right to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our seat cushion here. If you reach around to the front of the cushion, you're gonna feel a latch. You're gonna lift directly up on that latch and remove your seat. So it'll be this latch here. Take our cushion and we'll set it aside. Then we're gonna come right here to the front of the base and remove the two bolts securing the seat base to the frame of the machine. We're gonna grab a hold of our seat adjuster here, pick straight up and slide our seat forward. And we'll come back here to the rearmost bolts. Just go ahead and remove these bolts here as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab our seat and base, lift it up and remove it from the machine. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our rails. We have an inner rail and an outer rail. The way that you can tell that between the two the inner rail has this hole right here to where it's filled in. This one is open. So this is going to be the outer. This will be the inner. So what we're going to do is just lay these down. They'll line up with your factory threaded holes. So it'll be just like so. And then you're going to have a factory bolt right here. You're going to want to go ahead and remove that. We already loosened ours. And you're going to take your latch lift up your outer rail just like this and get it all lined up and then what I like to do is just immediately go ahead and put this bolt back in just loosely we're not tightening anything just yet eight millimeter hardware provided for these holes 22 and up you're going to use the 10 millimeter tapered allens so as you can see we have all four of our mounting locations lined up we're just going to go ahead and start our hardware in each of these Again, we're not fully tightening just yet. Let's get a couple threads started. Just like so. These OEM threads seem to strip out really easy. So, what I like to do is get an Allen and just run these down by hand to make sure our threads are good. You gotta make sure that you have a good bite on all these threads. Also in your kit, you're gonna have these rubber bumpers. So really gotta push on them and kinda try to rotate them around a little bit as you put them in. I'm gonna grab a little bit of lubricant. We'll just spray on these, that way they slide in. So that much easier. As you can see, that one slid in pretty good. Just kind of pushing down and at the same time rotating just a little bit there we go that one's in so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our seat flip it upside down on the table so as you can see this is the front this is where the adjuster is and then the actual back is facing towards me we're gonna go ahead and grab our right side bracket here and you're just gonna line it up with the factory holes that we removed all of our mounting hardware out of. So once we have it lined up, all four corners, we're gonna grab our tapered Allens, our M8 by 1.25 screws here. We'll drop them down through these holes, just like that. Then we'll go ahead and grab our M8 by 1.25 nuts and just thread them right on to our screws here. Mm -hmm. 
we'll slide this forward enough to where we can get our nuts on the front hardware as well. Just like so. Once we have all our hardware started, we'll go ahead and fully tighten it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fully tighten our hardware here. tight. Now we're going to take our striker as well as our jam nut, slide our striker in, come around here. Get the jam nut started. Just run it up. We're just going to go ahead and fully tighten this. Now we're going to take a six millimeter Allen and go ahead and fully tighten. Now we're just going to take our seat. Lay it in here. We'll get it lined up. Just like this. Make sure that our front Holes line up like that. So once we have everything positioned, we're gonna go ahead and grab our hitch pins. Slide your hitch pins in. Then you'll take your cotter pins. Now all you have to do is click down on your latch here. Lift straight up and you can gain access to behind your seat. If you had something back there that you're storing, slatch it right back down into place and you're good to go. Now we're just gonna repeat all these same steps on the opposite side. So that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's flip up seat kit on this Kawasaki KRX 1000. Be sure to check the description below to pick yours up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.